Hi there. So uh, I landed okay in Houston. You've probably seen the uh, video, the usual video of the view coming into land. Uh, and it took me about 40 minutes to drive from the airport to my hotel in a sort of pretty industrial sort of area uh, of the city. Uh, in the distance, that's downtown. You can see that very tall building uh, in the, uh, sort of on the horizon. Uh, I'm embarrassed to say I don't know what it, which one it is, but I'm sure someone will know and I'll have a look. But that's the general direction of downtown. Uh, here it's uh, quite sort of industrialised, it's not a particularly nice part of the city, um, but that's the view. Um, I'm on the top floor of the hotel, I think there's nine floors, so uh, um, which I'm hoping is going to help my uh, perception. So there we go, that's the view. Um, so as usual, I've brought the Mega Loop FX, which at the moment is just slung over this bat. I've, I've got very little space, it's just a tiny little balcony, just about enough room to stand. Um, and I've brought the Mega Active MA305. Um, so I bought these two antennas because I was, I'm planning to do some experiments with the new diversity feature um, on SDR Uno version 3.12. Um, the way this works is that if they're at least, I can't remember, is it a quarter of a wavelength apart, then the software can, um, in auto mode will actually add the signals. Um, but close up, you can the system can be used in manual mode to basically remove interference. And even though they're very, very close, um, I've just been playing around with it and I have actually got a slightly better signal to noise on a, um, on a station um, using the diversity uh, feature. So, um, but anyway, let's just show you quickly. So it's the usual thing. So the um, SDR Play RSP Duo, um, I brought my galvanic isolator, one of them, the GI1000. I can't actually find my GI300 because I'd have bought both of them. Um, but anyway, I'm using the galvanic isolator uh, in series with the um, Mega Loop FX. And then this is the power inserter, which at the moment is running on five volts for the um, MA305. Um, and then my laptop and so here you, here you can see right now I'm tuned to uh, a station on shortwave 9350 kilohertz Romans, chapter in six. diversity Romans. mode so um, and I'm hoping that, that diversity is going to help me uh, whilst I'm here for the, for the next week or so um, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll be interesting um, like I said the, the problem I've got really is that these two antennas are never going to be very far apart unless I have the MA305 indoors. Um, and the fact that I haven't got two magnetic loops, I've got one E-field and one H-field antenna isn't helpful either. But um, but having, I've just had a, a little play around for 10 minutes and actually in manual mode uh, by adjusting the amplitude and phase on the rosette, I can actually get a, um, a slightly... Uh, uh, better signal to noise um, using uh, this feature than using the kind of single mode uh, on its own. So, uh, so there you go. Um, God knows what uh, the staff here are going to think when um, they come and make the bed tomorrow morning or whenever when they see all this crap here. They'll probably think that there's a foreign agent's landed. I don't know. I'm going to have to sort of tidy some of it away um, before I sort of leave. Uh, to go to work but uh, but there you go it's the usual setup you know the SDR play RSP duo fantastic SDR receiver perfect for traveling um, it's all the it's got all the performance of the lad as near as damn it makes no difference um, and obviously the fact that it, it can be powered from my computer via USB and then obviously these two brilliant antennas one more suitable obviously for a noisy environment than the other but again can be operated from a 12 volt battery pack it's more than 12 volts actually it's 15 volts um, or USB uh, it's just a brilliant setup for uh, for when you're traveling um, I did a video uh, before I left just describing the setup uh, as I had been testing it at work before le before leaving and John Hudson has actually left some useful comments for me to uh, uh, in, well in terms of how to uh, use the diversity feature for um, for adding signals together but also for um, 
removing noise, subtracting noise. So uh, I'll uh, bear that in mind. But like I said, the fundamental problem I've got is that these two antennas, if they're going to be outside of the building, are, are very, very close. They're basically next door to each other. So I would be interested to know if anybody's got any idea on a better way to set this up um, with an E-field antenna and an H-field antenna in a very small space, um, let me know. Uh, you know, I'd be interested to uh, hear your views. I know this is a new feature. Not everybody uh, has had much experience with this. Um, I've had basically no experience with it. And as I said, I've just been playing with it for a few minutes. But if anybody has got a better idea than, than uh, this current setup I have here, then please... Um, leave a note on the video when it, uh, once I've uploaded it and posted it because um, I, I'd be interested to know if anyone's got a better a better idea. So that's about it for now. Um, I guess the next video hopefully we'll have some interesting DX or at least some interesting signals. I'll do a scan of medium wave um, and a scan of FM uh, just so as that uh, you guys can get a kind of view of what, what you can hear on the radio here. Uh, on sort of standard bands. Um, I've already had a quick tune through long wave and there's nothing but noise, but I'll have another go at some point. So uh, anyway, that's uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.